Good morning, guys. It's Larry with LD Outdoor Adventures. Hope you're all doing well today. Beautiful early morning here in Manitoba, Canada. Just figured instead of doing the second part to my video inside the hobby room, I would come outside and enjoy the beautiful morning. I'm just going to get myself set up, have a safety meeting, get myself a coffee, and I'll get back with you. Well, before we get into the panning, maybe I should give you guys a little rundown on what this channel is. In case you don't know, I'm Larry and this is LD's Outdoor Adventures. I'm a Canadian boy who lives basically in the middle of nowhere, Manitoba. Uh, the channel's basically just going to be here to help document some of my adventures, we'll call them. It'll be anything from hunting, fishing, camping, survival stuff, uh, gold prospecting, gold panning. Stuff to do with my reptiles. I'm a reptile collection. You will see them soon, I'm sure. S silly little collections. I collect all kinds of little trinkets, metal detecting. Hope to get into magnet fishing. A little bit different here because of where we are. I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere, so there's not exactly a, a lot of places to go, but I'm hoping to get into it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It's more for me to document the things that I'm trying to do than it is for anybody else, but I hope maybe somebody might enjoy my adventures. I'm going to uh, finish my coffee and I'll get back to you. Hey guys, I'm just going to give you a little rundown on the stuff I'm using. I've got my jeweler's loop, of course. About half the concentrates I bought back from the creek yesterday. I did start classifying it down with my kitchen strainer. All I have is the actual half inch strainer and it wasn't quite working for me. Uh, snuffer bottle, coffee of course, you have to have your coffee. Um, water, I ran out of freaking jet dry so there is just dish soap in there but whatever to work. My two pans, they are the mine lab pans. This one I'm pretty sure is a 12 or a 14 inch. This is a 6 or 8. Yes I know it's a small pan but it's what I like. Got my tweezers. Uh, black sandbox in that box is just all my little nuggets and goodies I'll have to show you guys one day scoop just the normal I am going to get at it and as soon as I find something cool I'll bring you guys back hey guys I told you I'd bring you back when we found something first pan we found something look at those killer garnets that's not what we found though can you see oh where did it go of course the camera's not going to focus on it can you see that that right there is a little piece of tiny boys and girls oh we're on the honey and we're back weather decided to go a little bit sideways on us so i had to unfortunately come into the house that's all right we're just going to come on here into the uh, hobby room and We'll pan in here. I will get back to you guys as soon as I've got it all flanged up. I'll talk to you shortly. Well guys, we're all finished going through it. I hope this is picking it up all right. We have a couple pieces there. And a little piece, oh, stop focusing my finger. A couple pieces up in here. She's all fly poop, but you know what? For my first time prospecting out on the creek, I'm pretty happy. As well as that, just give me a second here. Sorry for the change of scenery, we are inside now. So I just thought this thing was kind of neat, just weird old rock. All kinds of little garnets. You probably won't be able to pick it up. There's a fossil on this little thing. Kind of cool. Um, oh, I wish it would pick it up. There's actually a garnet stuck to some kind of black rock. It's pretty neat. Yeah, just a bunch of little garnet stones. This here, I'm not sure. I think it's high right in there not 100 percent sure but yeah all in all it was a successful trip i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time i'm pretty sure the next one's going to be a metal detecting adventure you all take care stay safe wish you all some heavy pans ciao